Hello. It's been so very long since we have visited. I know. I've been super busy, not only being a teacher, but a student. Um, I am a now a doctoral student going for my PhD since I talked to you last. It's going very well. I have uh, maintained a 4.0 um, A grade um, for almost a year now and uh, doing very well, but that's not what I want to talk about. I wanted to talk to you today about returning to class after spring break, and I noticed something, something very special as a teacher. You know, you think teachers don't would not want a spring break to end because either they're relaxing and enjoying it so much or they just didn't get enough time to relax and enjoy it all and they just feel like they're not ready to come back. I came back today and I actually enjoyed being a teacher today in the class. I had some some challenges. There's always the challenges with the students that are challenging or I don't know, maybe a coworker and a parent. They're always there, but I took an hour during the break to come in and just tie up some loose ends. It just took me an hour to make sure everything was like I wanted it to, to be when I came back. And um, I was ready to greet the students and just to love on them. And here's the, here's the key. Here's what I want you to take away from this. I have a very structured class. I have my routines and everything is set, you can almost, if you were to write the day down, you could write an outline, a really tight out, outline, and just fit everything in that outline. And I do it every day. A, a sub could come in and um, easily step into my shoes because I have a routine. It's very organized. It's not disorganized. Some of the things we do are the same every day, except for we plug in maybe a different lesson uh, a concept in math, a different page in reading, a different story, a different writing uh, topic, um, uh, method, or um, different science uh, experiment. But it's all in an organized outline, an invisible outline almost. The kids know what to expect when they walk to through the door. They know what to expect throughout the day, every time they go out for a specialist or recess, they know, I know. It's very structured is what I'm trying to say and I believe they feel safe. And because everything is in place, it's easy to have a day at school as a teacher. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. Like I said, there are the challenges that are there. You'll have that student who, who um, just wants to push all your buttons and, and disrupt the class and hinder their own learning, which is which is very important. But but the love is there, the the, the desire to um, put structure and walls up for that student so that they don't they have so that they know that they have safe safe boundaries as well. And um, I love the people I work with. There might be some personalities that are a little challenging. Um, I just see it as iron sharpens iron, and uh, how could I get better? But I have some really wonderful people that I work with, and and w wonderful parents too. But sometimes when you have to tell a parent that um, this person had a bad day, and we did everything we could to um, try to make a good day for them, but they just weren't having it, and um, get some pushback, and you always have to be professional and be the adult and be, you know, understanding and put yourself in that parent's shoes. No one likes to hear that their child is not um, doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> but as long as the structure is there, it's safe. It feels safe for the kids. It feels safe for me. I know when I go back tomorrow, I have the structure. And if something interrupts it, like we have like three different types of tests that are coming up that we need to... Um, administer starting tomorrow. Um, it could be a fire drill or an unplanned assembly meeting, but the structure foundation helps. But today we do this. We come in, 
we get our books out, we are quiet, we have blind order when we go in our lines, we start the day this way with our morning meeting and the pledge and we have blah, blah, blah. At this time we have math and we know what we're going to do in math every time, how we're going to um, have the introduction problem and we have our discussions and our learning target. Um, we have this structure to the very end of the day. And I hold them to it. I tell them, Miss. I tell them, I uh, I don't play. <laughs> um, I I expect a lot of you, and I have high expectations of each of my children, but they know I love them. So I just wanted to relay that to you. Having a structure and a routine is I noticed coming back. It just really brought security to me, and I believe to the children because they were pretty calm today too. And um, yeah, I hope you get the gist of what I'm saying, okay? And um, if you like my channel, as they usually say, um, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, all of that. Um, and I'll try to come back more often. <laughs> By the way, I'm not at school as I usually am. I'm at home and it's almost midnight. I mean, that's a teacher's life. I'm very tired. Um, not as I told you, not only a teacher and I have a family, but I'm also going for a higher degree. So it, it takes a lot out of you. So I'm gonna wrap up and get some sleep. You have a good good day, good night whenever you're watching this. God bless.